there, I'm there. So make sure you're acting appropriately. Agenda for today. We already did your attendance, you did your warm up. So next up, we're gonna practice the breakout rooms with a find someone who bingo. This is a very like back to school activity. I know we're kind of moving on from that, but realistically, we still don't really know each other that well. You sit in Zoom with these people, but you know, most of the time you guys have your cameras off, you're not really talking to each other. So we really, I personally don't feel like I know this class yet, or you guys know your classmates. So I encourage you in your breakout rooms today, don't make it awkward, right? Breakout rooms are super awkward if you let them be. Awkward means not talking, leaving your mute on the whole time. Awkward, kind of means, yeah, awkward also kind of means turning your video on because it's a little awkward talking to just blank screens and not knowing if they're listening to you. And if you are uncomfortable with that, then you have to make sure you're responding in that chat. Don't be the awkward, the person who makes your breakout room awkward. Don't be that person. So what you're doing today is, if you want to right now, like I said, you should have Canvas here and me here, open the find someone who bingo link under today's lesson. It should look, should look like this. You should be able to type in these text box that I gave you. Everybody okay with that? We're having luck getting it open. Nothing's blocking it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we did good. Good. Did so here's how it's going to go. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms with about four other people. And you're going to try and your goal is to get a blackout. So bingo is great. Bingo is straight across. But I want you to try to get as many as you can. I want you to try to fill that board with people's names. So for instance, has allergies. Somebody in this class has allergies. You need to find out who that's going to be. Our rules are this. Uh, you have to ask the person. So we can't enter a breakout room. Maybe it's me, Alexis. Patrick and Keenan, we're in a breakout room together. You can't go in there and say, I don't like pizza. Put my name on that one. You can't do it that way. What you can do is go into your breakout room and say, does anyone in here not like pizza? So you can only ask questions. You can't make statements about yourself. It doesn't have to be super specific. Like I don't have to be like, Hey, Cassiana, do you like pizza? It can be, is there anybody in here who doesn't like pizza? Then you say me, or if you're that uncomfortable, you put me in the chat. And then I would type, okay, Cassiana doesn't like pizza. So I'm gonna put her name there. She probably does like pizza. I don't know. Alexis? Is this something that we turn, is this something that we turn in or is it just for our? This is not an assignment to be turned in. This is just a class activity that we're gonna share at the end. The other rule is you cannot put somebody's name down more than once. So I am sure that you apply to more than one thing. For instance, I have allergies and I like math, but you cannot put Ms. Gall for both of those things. How are we supposed to get um, more than or four. Four. you're gonna go four. into multiple breakout rooms oh okay that makes sense then yep you're gonna so, get so basically like regular school. yeah you're gonna get about five minutes in your first breakout room to fill it with the people who are in there and then i'm gonna bring you back and spit you into a different breakout room and then you're gonna redo the process trying to fill your board now be warned there is a good chance that you might end up with the same person more than once, especially the longer we do this. Just ignore, don't ignore that person, but don't put their name down for that round because you've already used them. You are allowed a free space, meaning you may put your name on one of your boxes that fits you, 
don't do the likes the same movies because that doesn't really make sense for you to like the same movies as you. And don't do the same eye color one, but basically all the other ones you could fill with yourself. So maybe I would put Miss Gall for allergies. So you get a free space for yourself. You could also put Miss Gall said she fits this box and this box. Can you put Miss Gall for both boxes? No, Miss Gall can be either, but not both. You cannot repeat names. During the breakout room, I will be popping in and out just to watch, just to check and make sure that you guys are working on talking to each other. So today is the goal for today. Our objective is get used to breakout rooms. Tomorrow, we're going to have a more challenging activity to do with our breakout rooms. I'm going to give shout outs at the end of class to people who I see leading their breakout rooms. So if I pop in and I see you really leading that discussion or even just being a really good participant, I'm going to write your name down and I'm going to give you a shout out and then kind of keep in mind for later ways that I can reward you for being on top of things. Again, a bingo is great, but we're trying to get a blackout. What other questions do you have about this assignment? Are you going to turn this in? No, nothing to turn in here. No. But be ready to share about the last five minutes of class when we're done with our breakouts. Just again, a reminder that I am always watching, even if I'm not currently in your room, the video camera is, so make sure you're on task. Uh, just that reminder, you guys heard me do it during the warm up. I'm also watching your screen, so make sure your screen is doing the correct thing. And I think that's it. So I'm going to put you guys in your first breakout room. I'm going to set a timer for about five minutes. Wait, Ms. Gold? Yeah. Since I'm on a PC, can you still like go onto my screen even though I'm on my own PC? Yes, as long as you're logged into the district. Oh. Okay. So we are always watching. Okay, so it's going to give you four to five. So one of you is going to ha probably have a smaller room each time. That's okay. What if we have two monitors? Uh, I should just see whatever one you're on. <laughs> All right, I'm sending you to your first breakout rooms. Like I said, I'll be popping in and out. I can't turn my video on. All right, I, that's because you lost the ability to do that. I'm going to give it back to you. Okay. But you need to make sure you're using it appropriately. All right. Do I need to send you back to your room? Let's see. Where are you? Jonas accidentally left the whole thing. Uh, my Zoom crashed when I joined the breakout. Can you put me in another one? Yes. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> 